Kamala and Derek from Tatango.com. We are at Mobile World Congress 2019. We have a really cool demo from iMy Mobile. This is Alex. So Alex, explain to me what iMy Mobile is. So iMy Mobile are a cloud software communications business. We enable our clients, our customers, to communicate with their, um, their customers through um, a, a wide range of different kind of messaging um, uh, capabilities. Um, they can, it could be for purposes of marketing, it could be of live chat, it could be of kind of business automation and different systems communicating with customers. So you're here in the Google Innovation Center, GSMA Innovation Center, hosted by Google, I guess, a beautiful place. And you're demoing uh, one of your clients that is now using RCS. Yeah, so um, we, it's not, actually, it's not quite live, I have to be honest. Um, we are um, getting ready for a launch in the UK. Um, still, I'm sure you know that um, we're dependent on the mobile network operators rolling the solution out. Um, but when they do, yeah, this is ready to go and um, the infrastructure and the technology is there ready today and um, to support this. But so this is, this, today we're showing you a demo. How, yeah, no, no, no. How has the reception been to RCS in the UK? by like the people at the carriers, because I'm from the United States, we know kind of what Verizon, AT&T think. Are they excited? And then the brands, do you see any difference between the United States and the UK in terms of adoption or just their feelings about RCS? I think, you know, first of all, SMS is a really old technology, but it's really well used. A lot of businesses use it for um, customer notifications, interactivity, and um, automating kind of, you know, business processes and, and, and notifications. Uh, this RCS is a natural evolution of that, but provides a much richer experience for a customer. And, um, and I think a lot of brands and businesses that we're working with definitely are looking at it saying, this is great, when is this going to be ready? We really want to get something going. So it's more, when is it ready? Not like, okay, you know, try to sell me on this. They're ready, it's more just the adoption rate. Absolutely, absolutely, it's really. And I think, you know, it's, um, the, you know, some of the great things about it, it's the natural SMS, it's the natural inbox on a phone. Yeah, it's not, they've got to, they haven't got to get a new application. It's, you know, it's already there on their device. They're not gonna, they, it's gonna be a natural upgrade for them. They, they you know, they're, they're just gonna see a change and that change is gonna be for the better. Um, just because I know you know the UK market very well, what has been kind of the, uh, the evolution of SMS? Has it been replaced by like the OTT WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger? I know in, in the United States, SMS is just still king. Um, what is kind of the, the market mix do you see in the UK? I think, um, so clearly WhatsApp have now launched business messaging. Um, Apple have launched Apple Business Chat. Um, I, um, you've also then, um, you know, Facebook Messenger and the ability to message a business through um, Facebook has been around for a couple of years now. I think a lot of brands have tried Facebook. I think, um, I think, I think we've seen some really good success in the UK with some Facebook services, um, or Facebook Messenger services. Um, I think still there is, um, you know, it's, a, it's very much a Facebook-led discovery process. Whereas something like RCS is actually the business are in control of that rather than being on someone else's platform. I think it's very early days for WhatsApp. There's only really a few, or WhatsApp for business, there's only a few brands on that today. Um, but I will think there'll be more. Key though is that it's really the customer making the decision on how to communicate with the business. So it's going to be the customer deciding actually what's their channel of choice and how does the customer want to interact with the business. And from our perspective, we'll support all of those. You know, we're in a position where our one platform can support all of those messaging channels and provide to the likes of DPD a single solution to handle any of those customer interactions. So walk me through what's going on here and start with: Are they getting the message out of the blue? Are they are they messaging into this company? So, in the demo here I'm showing you today, someone's bought a, um, a, um, something online, they bought a parcel online. Um, DPD um, are the delivery partner and, um, for, for that online business or the retailer. And as a customer, um, uh, I've been notified that, um, a message, uh, that a parcel is on the way. So, the first message you can see here, um, the, the, uh, the, the DPD driver, um, Brian, is going to deliver, his, um, deliver the parcel at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but if you're not in, then um, you can change that. You can, um, we, we can step through some options and, and make some delivery changes. So, in this instance, I'll click um, change my delivery options. Let's see what we've got. 
when this comes back. So this is like I'm just sitting on my couch or let's say at work. This is a message that just pops up on my phone because I have a package waiting. I'm not going to a chatbot directory and looking for this. This is no, a true this outbound is an, message. An outbound notification. Yeah, it's an outbound notification telling you that something's on the way. And it's likely you might not be at home. You know, you might not you might be at work. Um, you um, you could have popped to the shop. You may not be there uh, that particular instance. So we're going to present some different options back to you. Oh, and I uh, think it's frozen on the screen there. <laughs> we can reset the. What I think also what's interesting about this, and maybe you can reset it, uh, and then I'll bring in the brand because I think what's really interesting about RCS is actually talking to the brand and figuring out are brands actually interested in this, and then where do they make money or where do they save money? So. Vernon, Hi. good to see you. Good to meet you. So explain to me, uh, number one, how they came to you uh, and presented RCS, and what was your uh, initial reaction to it? Well, certainly, I mean, uh, SMS have been around for years, and that's our prime prime method of communicating to our consumers. So RCS was going to give us a richer uh, communication method and a richer experience for our consumers, and ultimately, it's for our customers to be able to deliver the parcels and deliver the parcels effectively. So to be able to provide the options within the text, which is in effect what we're doing, will be a great advantage, to, and we want it to be number one in there. So currently, you use SMS, correct? Okay. So SMS, I'm guessing, has some limitations. Is there going to be any like business case for RCS? Are you going to save money because they can do certain things with RCS that you couldn't do with SMS? I think it's more the convenience and the fact that it's a richer experience. So today, if you receive a, a text, you actually have to click on the link and go to the website. So we, we'd prefer people to have our app, but if they haven't got the app, then they, take, they, they receive a text, and then they go to the website and transact. But if we can do it within the, within the RCS, it's a faster experience and it's more convenient for the, for the consumer. So it's really about like the consumer feel like they feel good about your company. It's easy rather than reducing cost, essentially, because they're doing the same process within the app or SMS. This is just way easier and way smoother. Yep, far smoother. And I say it's, it's instant response. I can get on with my day. I've dealt with where my package is going to be delivered and I can move on. And I haven't had to jump out to a website. I've dealt with it. And then I can continue the conversation. I can go back in. And because it's connected to our chatbot, we can give them live updates. It's very cool. Are there any uh, things that you're waiting for to roll this out? Because I know this is a demo. Is it just adoption? Yeah, I, it's, if the mobile networks. So at the moment, I think there's two, two of the networks have got it uh, in place. And uh, we're just waiting for the, the rest of the networks to, to deploy it. That's great. So it's, there's literally no hurdles except for just adoption. Adoption, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready well, to that, go. <laughs> that sounds great. So we're going to go back to the demo here. Um, oh, do you want to talk through it? Either are. So what happened here, just to recap, is we went through and you received a mass message, or a message. Yeah, either are. So the consumer received the message and maybe they're not home. So you responded back and clicked change delivery options. And then you started this kind of chatbot experience. That's correct. So we received the, received the text from, the, um, uh, uh, from DPD to say that ASOS have sent them a parcel. We're changing the delivery options. And as you come down, you see you get the various options here. So I can change the date. I can leave it in a safe place. I can leave with a neighbor. Or I can actually say collect it from a, a pickup shop. And this is all tied into like the chatbot experience that you guys have on your back end. So what it's done, it said these are the three nearest shops to where uh, the delivery point was. And so I can then select one of these, one of these shops here. And then to rearrange the delivery. That's so really cool. We have more functionality in the final product. This is just a concept to show you exactly how it will work. And so it's confirmed and it's telling you where to go. And you can then get directions from Google Maps of how to get there. Do you see this, like if this had the adoption rate, like 100% adoption rate, would this replace your mobile app or are there things that maybe RCS can't do that an app can do? Well, what this is doing is putting us directly into our, uh, uh, in effect, our chatbot to be able to respond to whatever query I'm likely to ask. So if I was to add a, another message here, the chatbot would respond. But generally, I can only do three or four things about the delivery today. Yeah. 
But do you think that like your app, if, if everybody can use this experience, the RCS experience, will there even be a need for mobile apps in the future? I think it'll be dependent on the consumer and how they want to work. If, you know, uh, so we'll have the app, we'll have the website, and we'll also have our, our messaging with with um, uh, 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 RCS and also with Apple Business Chat. So it's really for you guys is being where the consumer is and easy. If, if, if something brand new comes out, you'll be there as well. It's about the consumer's choice, isn't it? The consumer is going to choose whatever channel they want to use, and we want to be there and provide them with the same experience. Sounds good to me. <laughs> awesome. Well, that is another RCS demo from Mobile World Congress 2019 here in Barcelona. We're at the GSMA Innovation City, again, with a great brand, DPD, and uh, IMI Mobile that actually built the RCS chatbot. And another uh, great reason why people are using RCS is really to be where the customer is and to provide them a better experience.